Hello everyone. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. It's four o'clock in the morning and uh, I couldn't sleep so I was tempted to do another video about extrusions this time. Currently we only manipulated an object like a cube and that's basically it. We didn't really do anything other than that. Now we're going to actually edit something and create something different than a cube. How do we do that? We dive into the cube by selecting instead of object mode, we move to edit mode. Or you can just move to the modeling wor workspace like this. Then you just, you know, it's kind of the same thing. I did the layout and you just press stop to, s to toggle between edit or object mode. And in edit mode, you can see these dots called vertices. Now let's select all of them, or just select one and then invert selection, Alt A, and apparently it doesn't work. Why not? Well, let me see, select in, yeah, let me go back to object mode and press Alt A. Invert, it works, but in edit mode it doesn't. Why not? because it's diff a different key, we're not uh, no longer in object mode, we're in mesh modeling. Let's just uh, move to in here and uh, take a look at key map, key binding, Alt A. We're no longer in object mode, Alt A is uh, deselect all invert, we're in mesh deselect all, that's still Alt A and uh, let's just change that to invert and uh, save these preferences let's see, select invert, now it's selected Alt A, so I'll just select this one Alt A, X, delete vertices as you can see, these are vertices, vertexes like that, these dots. Top view. Now what is an extrusion? I press E for extrude and a dot becomes, what do you know, a line. Now I just select all of them. I press E once more. A line becomes a plane. And I select A twice and a plane, if I extrude a plane, well, it becomes a cube. And that's that, I guess. We created our own cube. Oh, great. Yeah, let's uh, move back to edit mode. And now um, I'd say we could just build the house. I'm just going to select uh, these. G, move it a bit like that direction. Select these in this direction a bit, select these and extrude and then scale and I'm just going to type in zero <laughs> and we're almost done with the house but if I click these, these it's a uh, G, it's still two vertices at the same spot so uh, we're going to change some settings out here in uh, active tool workspace settings well options auto merge I'm gonna turn that on now if I'm just gonna select these two G and I hold on control just left click on the same place and now you can see the highlight in that it's uh, it's now a single vertex right here as well so now all I can do is uh, select these for instance extrude scale top view scale sort of like this G let's put it uh, here extrude G Scale Z zero 
GZ and basically we've got the house almost done well this turns out to be a very short video at this point and I think I could do some more if I press tab to edit mode you can see a lot of tools here but I wouldn't go into that right now I would like to show you some more basic things first so let's start out with a single vertex once more I just select this one press alt a x delete vertices and I'm gonna rebuild this house once again right side view extrude let's say four meters and if I zoom in at this point you see new grid lines appear now if I press E for extrude I'm moving in steps of point 1 let's say point 6 in each direction like this nice 45 degrees extrude so the grid uh, yeah the get grid gets more refined once you zoom in now I'm just going to zoom up once again extrude and I'm moving in meters once again let's say 3 by 3 and this is uh, some portion of the house the new house um, yeah I can just scale duplicate and duplicate don't work why well for the same reason as inverse didn't work we're mesh editing at this point mesh duplicate is shift D I just right click change shortcut and then select D now duplicate scale in this direction and I'm gonna type in minus one and now it's well it's not aligned just yet so I move over here but as you can see the top of the roof it doesn't connect really well at this point still no connection uh, that's just terrible let's just X delete these vertices and this is where uh, the pivot point comes in if I select something like this for instance and scale the center of this transformation is located in the center of the selection so if I select more like this and scale like it's it's centered it's the center of the selection scale rotation just as well if I select these three points and rotate it's rotating around the center of the selection and I would like to have some more control of it um, with the 3d cursor that's this thing here I just shift right click and uh, you can move this cursor at some random position but I would like to put it here and then make that the center of the transformation in order to do that I'll move up here it says transform pivot point I just click it and select the 3d cursor which is this thing now here's a new menu it's shift s the snap menu you can move up to mesh and here's the snap menu as well but if I press shift shift s you get a nice pie menu and you will use these pretty regularly I think well I do cursor to select it now the cursor is at this vertex I just select everything now I can press D and it works scale in the Y direction and I'm gonna type in minus one and as you can see the center of the transformation is at the cursor rotate like this and that's much easier to mani manipulate things like this now let's select the whole thing front view extrude once again and you almost have the house finished now um, it's opened up I'm just gonna select these four points like that and press F to fix I'm pressing F to fix like this now I just deselect these with control right side view extrude and I'm gonna move it up here somewhere and now I'm gonna snap my cursor to the selection and as you can see I, I'm, I use it quite regularly already scale zero there's something wrong with it though let's see um, yeah if I snap my cursor here sh again snap menu that's uh, extrude and rotate this 45 degrees like so 
this dot is not at the current at the right position. I have to move it here. That's better. And I can X delete this vertex. So that's better. As you can see, I, I use the snap menu quite regularly. You can just press shift right mouse key and you can put the cursor anywhere at random. But I would like to have some more precise placement of it. So I'm going to change that. Um, mesh, snap, cursor to select it right here. I right click, assign shortcut, shift, right mouse. So left mouse is for selection and box selection, middle mouse is for the view, and the right mouse will be for the snap menu and God knows what else. Right, so I can just uh, shift, right click, oh dear, still not working. Of course, I have to move to edit preferences once again, key binding, shift, right and scroll down to 3D view down here the cursor is part of the 3D view and it says set 3D cursor it's also shift right mouse I'm just gonna turn that off and save the preferences now let's see what happens shift right mouse and it snaps I just click these two shift right mouse and it snaps great that works now I would like this to extrude this part and I have a lot of vertices to select at this point and let's just select these and extrude this part but I do not want to but just the open area now another feature once more I'm moving up here edge select menu and I'm gonna control left click and drag and deselect this one now I have this open area and I can extrude well let's put it here that looks nice and again I can press F to fix in case you forgot F there we go now I would like to copy this side to the other end of the house now I'm moving back to vertex selection um, I have to select all this you can also press circle select C and then just select these parts select these parts what I'm doing is C you can just scroll to make the circle bigger or smaller middle click and drag to deselect and left click and drag to select these points duplicate scale and move it over here like so minus one now put in the chimney now top view I'm going to select these, shift right click to snap my cursor, extrude, scale, sort of like that, scale, sort of like that, and then G, snap my cursor here, control Z, get back to this selection, extrude, scale, Z, zero and now it's the same height as the, as the rooftop yeah I think I should leave it at that circle select left click and drag middle click and deselect like that right click to cancel that's the circle select you will figure it out just pressing C that's an option F to fix and we made shift right click to snap the cursor to any position you'd like you know you can just uh, select this point of the house select all rotate Z put the house like this for instance 90 degrees you know you can do a lot of things like this control Z yeah try to practice with this house see uh, how it works out for you and I would like to do a lot more with extrusions but you we will we will see so uh, hit the like button if you found this video any useful and now you can start designing some things already a little bit and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and then I'll see you all later.